It's your girl, Brittany, here, and welcome to another Brit Positive Podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am so happy to be chatting with you guys again, and just know we will soon be back on a regular schedule. It has just been a hectic couple of weeks, (laughs) but I love your patience, and I love your kindness, and continuous positivity on this show. Thank you. Thank you for supporting it. Thank you for checking out old episodes. You guys, it never goes unnoticed. I see it. I love it. And this is why for a positive podcast, just know we're not going anywhere. We're, we're only making more. Now, this setup might sound a little different in the background because your girl is driving, but just had to just pull out the microphone in a way and just be like, hey, let's just chat. But this will be to a two-parter. So you're going to get a little bit of me here in the car. And then, of course, we will switch to me back at the studio. But I just wanted to start off with a little catch-up. Like, how's it going? How's life? What are you guys doing? Things like that. I got to know. I got to know what's going on. Because, you know, in case you guys are going through some stuff that needs some encouraging words in your life, we're here. We're here to do that for you. And we have so many that we're going to be posting on Burt Positive Podcast Instagram. So you guys can go there and read some encouraging things if you need. We have merch to maybe have you go out there, walk with it to remind yourself. And we have new merch actually coming out soon. So that's been something I've been working on. Can't wait to have it done and ready for you guys so that we can have a new season in positivity together. Okay. But um, yeah, just a little catch up. Uh, so, hmm, you might be like, so, Britt, positive, what's been going on with you? Well, I've just been busy with work and just social life and just about anything. Like, I think I can't get two seconds to myself nowadays. And that's okay. That's life. I can see how that can be a normal thing. But I am making sure I am paying attention to just simply being present because sometimes so much could be happening and you know sometimes people will be like so what did you do this weekend and I'm like I don't even know (laughs) like I know what I did but it's like it's all a blur all of a sudden because it happened so fast kind of thing so you know that's something I've been very intentional about of just like being really present you know kind of put my phone away that's why I haven't been on the gram that much with the couple of months I just put my phone away and just like be engaging with people with my surroundings and just like you know just I don't know I guess that's the season I'm in right now of just like really being present and and there's so much more I want to share with you guys of what I've learned and things I've used to help me you know kind of just stay on a positive course because like stuff happens life happens and it's like you know sometimes you're trying to stay on that course of just like be grateful be positive but sometimes and you know in reality it can be a bit hard to do that because you're feeling so much of what's happening around you it's hard for you to believe the good sometimes but this is why we're here because we're here to encourage you like yes there is still good and believe me I don't only want to just come on here and say these things I actually want to come on here and actually like share from my own experience so that you guys can just know like it's not impossible like if like if Brittany can do it then you can do it too (laughs) so um just wanted to encourage you guys just like don't let the things out there get you down no it's only temporary and you know better is to come I truly truly believe that so I am still on the road and let me just say traffic is insane okay like I I, I, I'm I'm wondering where did all these people come from so I don't know about you guys if you have any moments of like the traffic bumper to bumper kind of car situation what do you guys do in those circumstances because like for me I just play music and I just simply have to accept the fact that this is out of my control even though I'm there like no I want to get to where I need to go on time but like it kind of gave me a glimpse of life in general like certain things may not go the way we hope but it's like how do you deal with it in that moment like do you sit and get sad or allow it to ruin your day or do you just okay this is not what I planned but let's let's see where it goes you know or let's see how we can make it better you know so instead of it being a situation where you're just kind of bummed you're just like okay well this is what I'll do you know um you could play some music you can start saying like a prayer for yourself like maybe some of these moments where we're being paused in the middle of things that we're doing it's like maybe a moment for you to like 
actually do something for yourself, do something to help fulfill your soul, you know, whether it's praying, whether it's um, saying positive things over your life, just to kind of get you encouraged for the day, all those things. I think little hiccups in our day, like gives us, I think you, if you look at it, like it's giving yourself attention to take care of you for that second while you're waiting on something or while you're dealing with something. I think that is powerful because it's like, like traffic, like, of course, that would make anyone upset, but just be like, okay, well, I'm stuck in traffic, but what can I do for me in this moment to like stay calm or to enjoy this little hiccup, you know, or it's like a problem at work or school, you're trying to solve a problem, whether it's a homework or trying to solve a problem at work, instead of you like getting, you know, flustered, you could just be like, okay, how am I going to solve this? What are things I can do? Or, you know, let me not forget, I had a great lunch, and let me not forget, I, I, I have people who love me. Things like that to kind of just refocus on what's truly important and not allow things like, you know, life itself, just the good or the bad, but more so the bad I'm here targeting. Don't let those things like really take such power over you and your mood and your day, you know, just like allow that stuff to just be like, okay, that's happening. Mm, uncomfortable, but I'm going to focus on this instead, you know? So just thought to share that with you guys because that's what I'm doing right now in traffic (laughs) in real time I'm like what can I do to make this a better situation (laughs) instead of feeling stressed out about being in traffic I will do a podcast and speak some positive stuff over my life and more your your life I want good things to happen for my listeners out there too so you know thank you guys again for tuning in and let's get to the studio I will give you guys an update (laughs) on what's happening in the traffic on how that all went down and how my day went down let's make a fun fun event out of this okay all right enjoy listening to podcasts and ever wonder Can I make a podcast? But it seems so complicated and good audio production can take time. What if there was a way to create an amazing podcast easily? Well, now there is. Introducing Podcasting Made Easy from Podtastic Audio. My production team will handle your entire audio production, allowing you to be the star of your show. This is Podcasting Made Easy. How easy? Well, so easy, you don't even have to press record. Now that's easy. Your listeners are waiting. Let's deliver. Sign up for a free strategy call today at podtasticaudio.com slash easy. And we are back, back in the studio, no longer driving in the car. And if you guys want to know what happened that day, I got to work and that's all that matters (laughs) even though it took so long um and traffic was horrible but hey you know what can you do you can only just you know look for the positive which is what I did so that is my little encouragement right there for you guys regarding that situation but now we're back in the studio and I just wanted to continue our conversation that we got that we had um for one um it is Thanksgiving here in Canada, so happy Thanksgiving, and I feel so thankful because, you know, you're almost, we're almost at the end of the year, not really completely, but you know what I mean, at least right now we're in October, and just so much has been happening, you guys, which is why your girl has not been able to do many podcasts as she like, but it, it doesn't, there's never a day I don't think about you guys, just remember that, okay? Um, but we are posting on Instagram. I am ch- checking my DMs with you guys, having little conversations, positive conversations. So it's all good. But I am going to be doing some more episodes and I have more people to come on here to just have a good positive conversation with myself and to share with you. So I'm excited for that. But um, in this episode in particular I was kind of trying to find my footing with it too because I'm like what are we going to talk about are we going to catch up or are we going to think about things that we're thankful for and I said well in the good spirit of Thanksgiving I don't know about America and other places you guys haven't gotten your Thanksgiving yet but hey you can listen to this leading up to yours to kind of get you in the spirit but yeah Thanksgiving um I like it in that it really just is a time to really take a beat and reflect on your life 
but more so of the things you're truly thankful for because you know the saying you don't know until it's gone that's when you realize how much you appreciated it or how much it meant to you and I don't know that's just been a journey of mine personally where if I don't if if I'm not paying too close to attention to what I'm doing in my moment like I always say oh but if it if I don't have it I'm gonna miss out like I'm gonna not I'm not gonna be happy that I didn't take the time to appreciate it you know whether that is something I have or it's a person in my life all those things so I just encourage you guys in your season right now in life while everything is very fast paced and we're on the go and everything's touch screen and you know automatic driving cars and all um and I mean like self-driving cars like you don't even have to be in the car now like it's it's crazy out there but um in all of that, I just would encourage you to really just appreciate what you do have in this moment. It, it's whether it, you consider it not that big of a deal or so, it is a big deal because even those things we take for granted that are to to ourselves thinking it's very small and not, not that important, it is. It is because nothing in life is permanent and, you know, it's not to say you can't enjoy it or don't get attached to it but it's just like when you think of it that way you really tend to just not worry about the little stuff and just enjoy every aspect of it so I really encourage you guys to do that um and I'm gonna just list a couple of things I'm thankful for and I hope it encourages you guys to actually you know come up with a list for yourself Um, just because it is such a good thing and I'll explain why because sometimes in life we can be so wrapped up in everything more so a lot of things that we want and we have not achieved yet and once that kind of becomes that that target in our brain to continue to just strive for something we don't have we really do miss out on the things we do have and so I just wanted to share things that I did take a moment to like sit back and really like appreciate and not just for today but let it be a reminder through many other days I have to just be thankful for because like I said we can't take this stuff with us you know or we can't we don't know what the you know life brings and we don't know what tomorrow is so it's just like you know it really is to just bring that perspective and kind of keep it there just so you know um to appreciate these things so for one for me I appreciate um, my first one would be like being alive (laughs) I think it's gotten to the point for me where I remember when I was younger like in school or like elementary school high school all that stuff I I'd get up like you know typically thinking like oh I have school and I have to go this and I have to do that and it just seemed as if like my life was already planned out and you know it just it was just kind of like you you can easily get annoyed sometimes you wake up and you know what you have to do in your day or you think oh I have to go to work and you know all of that can immediately get you in this robot or this automatic feeling of what you know what your day is going to be like and so immediately it puts you in a mood um I'm just thankful now as I got older I was able to kind of shift that thinking because of just everything that we've all been through whether good or bad it's just like life is so precious and even if I know I have to get up and go to work or I know I have to do this and do that and you know things that may you know are important things to do it's our responsibility instead of it looking like a oh I have a chore or a task I gotta finish it's like I'm just thankful I can do it you know I'm, I'm thankful I can I can get up and get things done because you know what if I can't you know that then I would be missing out or wishing I could you know what I mean so when you change that perspective you kind of end up going I'm really just happy I'm able to like go to work and do what I need to do be helpful be kind you know so so that's one of the things I'm thankful is just being alive being able to breathe because when I think about it to you guys like I'll be sleeping and I, I I'm breathing on my own but it's just kind of like even that I know the way I look at it deeply is like I know God's keeping my my breathing going throughout the night because like that has I I don't purposely like do anything to keep that going you know so all of that just made me really appreciate life and appreciate the days I wake up to see 
And even if I know or have an idea of what it may look like, it really is never the same. Always think about that too. Um, Each day you live is not the same. It's not going to be like yesterday. It's not going to be like the day after, the day before yesterday, nothing of that. It's literally going to be different. Every day is different. So it's just like big or small, just appreciate it and learn and be kind and just enjoy it. Another thing that I am thankful for is my family. Um, I've just been so wrapped up in doing things now as of late, but any chance I get to hang out with my family. I mean, the other day or so we were watching a movie. I think it's called The Contractor. We're watching it. We watched it on Amazon Prime and it was pretty interesting film. Actually, I was like, oh my goodness, it was a lot happening, but it was to me what really made it so special was just like my whole family and I just sitting together watching it and you know those moments you don't know when you're gonna ever see them again or have them again so it's like while you're in it you just have to appreciate it so that was me the other couple of nights ago guys was just sitting with my family watching a movie because we actually haven't done that in a while and it was just something that I could completely just be happy about feel thankful for and you know I just have to thank God I really was like thank you God for my family like I got I got to do this with them and you know These are memories I'll cherish forever because like if anything, I may not be able to take that exact moment with me like in my hand, but the memory is dear to my heart and something I can hold on to forever and look back and smile. So in in saying this, it's just to always kind of like make make your day an event, make those times you have with whoever you're with to just be special and to make your own memories because that is what you can really take with you guys and I believe I mentioned that sometime before in some other episodes but I think I'm bringing it back because it's just one of those things that's been standing out for standing out to me as of late where I just really have to make you know make this make my day important so I can remember because of just that's life like you know I sometimes get so trapped in the cycle of like things repeating or knowing what's to come and it's like we really don't know so just really enjoy and make the day an event so you can have a memory to keep my third thing that I'm thankful for is my friends um you guys know who you are um I love you so dearly and it's just that sometimes you know in life you could be going through so much seasons and different changes and like you have your friends to just have there for you to like talk to, laugh with, to cheer you up. And so I'm just really thankful for them in my life. I can I had made some beautiful memories with them throughout this year and it's just one of those things that I'm I just I'm just so thankful for and you know it's it's hard to make um good connections good healthy connection nowadays because you really don't know people's intentions here and there but you know I I did take it step by step with these people and it just you know one thing led to another and it was like you end up finding the most best people you've ever met and I don't know I'm just very thankful for them they they make me smile when I don't feel like smiling and I feel their love without them having to do anything so it's just one of those things that I'm just so thankful to have and so you guys know who you are I love you and thanks for always supporting your girl too the fourth thing I'm very thankful for is there's so many things that's why I'm pausing because I'm like I could say a bunch but I don't want to you know overdo it here but I'm very thankful guys there's so much on my mind I'm thankful and this is gonna sound cheesy but I am thankful for a Brit positive podcast I mean I want to say it but it was like ah is it gonna sound too cheesy but I'm thankful for it because I've gotten to meet and interact with such amazing people who are passionate about their own thing and their topics they like to talk to talk about on their show and be a part of their show sometimes or get to collab and things like that and I never ever in a million years thought I would be doing any of that but it it just happened and it's just one of those things I truly keep you know dear to my heart and the messages I get from listeners of being encouraged by the show and just like people liking the show people following the show people you know following us on Brit Positive Podcast Instagram all of that is just to me till this day I'm always blown away on how it grew 
and just you know it's like one of those things that it was just a little idea in my head that I just thought you know we need encouragement out there and then bam you know a lot of people were like yeah we need this too and it just became its thing and I just feel like it's not just my thing it's it's everyone's thing of just like being positive looking for the positive and whether that's in films whether that's with conversations of how to make us ourselves better for for ourselves and others it's just I love each episode that's been out I love the conversations the tips and all that we're able to share on this platform and I am so excited and very hopeful for the future to be continuing this journey with you guys because you're the reason why we keep going you know whenever I see you guys tuning in I'm just like yeah you know someone out there is appreciating this and that person who's listening I'm doing this for you (laughs) because you know sometimes you can just feel so alone out there or in your own head and think all sorts of things but it's like just sometimes if you don't have a friend or a person to talk to you to can to kind of encourage you through whatever you're going through I am honored to be that person for you right here wherever I am and wherever you are I am happy to know I can just you know make you feel not alone and know that hey you can do it keep pushing and I'm cheering you on honestly I am so thank you guys for being a part of this journey with me and continuing to be on this journey with me because we have episodes coming we have I actually had like a whole vlog guys I have it all edited and everything and I never posted it because I was just like I don't know (laughs) you know it had it it was all set I was about to post it on YouTube and I just didn't but if you guys think I should let let me know let me know in the comments and and we might I might do it I might just post it and just have it there on Instagram or something but um yeah and last but not least another thing I'm very thankful for my relationship with Christ um that's really how I am able to be hopeful and get through things and I know if I didn't have it I wouldn't be who I am today so I'm very thankful for that and I can only hope to be better from it and to continue to be the best positive person for me so I can be that for you and we can just keep this train going and um with that thank you so much for listening to what I'm thankful for I hope you guys can take the time out in your day or even do it every day write three things you're thankful for because it really will shift your mind from thinking about what you don't have which can make you feel sad because you want it and you don't have it yet but when you really focus on what you do have you don't feel like you're you're lacking anything if anything you're so content you know because of all the blessings you see around you because you guys are truly blessed and I believe a lot of us just don't take the time to look for it and so I do encourage you guys look at the blessings around you it's there and once you really soak that in you'll be happier for it and you'll you'll if anything do something more creative and fun to just enjoy it more you know as against thinking of the stuff that isn't happening you know so that's my encouragement for you guys but thank you so much for listening thank you thank you thank you love you guys so much happy thanksgiving and talk to you guys next time bye